uh, our things in time and we keep on um, panicking here and there, we are disorganized. We reach the examination hall at the exact time and let you know they are going to check you first before you enter the examination room. Is your cell, that's number one, please. Is your cell before entering the examination room? No candidate will be allowed to leave the examination room before the end of the examination time. I think we are, we have already, already gotten used to that. I believe we all did mock examinations. We have always given new exams that it has been paramount that we do not get out before. The stipulated time on the examination rubric is done. Just love, just love, love for the Lord for he is faithful, love for the Lord for he is holy, love for the Lord for he is glorious, love for the Lord for he can never fail us. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.
Yes, my name is Gesa Juma Jackson, Director Global Harvest Secondary School and the President Harvest Foundation. Today we have had the best who are actually writing down in the chronicles of this ministry and Uganda lover that we've prepared our children. We're actually doing the briefing of our candidates for S4 that has later to start on Monday, their, their exams. We are believing in God, we have done what it takes. We are very grateful to the parents because with the socioeconomic rifts that they have been going through, they have been able to pay up. Our parents have paid. We thank God and we thank them for the effort. And our children have been calm. This year is special. We are actually believing God that we shall be able to excel. But for the Bible says that he who trusts himself is a fool. We do not want to trust ourselves, but believe God the last hour. Until day zero, we brought the ministers of God to stand with us in prayer and lift our children to the glory of God. We are believing them they will be able to excel. There is no fear. Our children are also confident, and that is what it takes. The Spirit of God is around and will take them through. We have no fears. We know the sky can't be the limit because our God is above the, the sky. So our children are going to excel. We thank God for the time and we pray for calmness because they will be able to do it. Amen. I'm Pastor Joseph Mtemera from Global Faith Christian International Ministries. We thank God for the great work he's doing. Today it has been awesome to dedicate the children of um, at our school, Global Harvest Secondary School. We thank God for his work and we believe God is going to do wonderful. We believe that this year we're going to do more better than other years. Because I know where there is God, everything is possible. It is my word to the people who are seeing me that bring your children to Global Harvest Secondary School, located in Seguku. Uh, you can bring your child. It is on the Christianity Foundation. When you bring your child, you never get disgraced. This is what I'm telling you as a parent. Groom your children under the foundation of God. I know that one time, one day, you will celebrate. God has a lot of things in store to our children. We may do everything, but God has the last word. God has the last destination of our children. If we dedicate them to him, I'm telling you, our children will do awesome in Jesus' mighty name. We are located in Luboa, Seguku. My name is Elinda Juliana, a candidate in Form 4 at Global Harvest Secondary School. It's located along Entebbe Road in Seguku. Um, today has been our briefing, at the same time our dedication, as we the candidates of Form 4. I believe we have gained much from it, as we have been told on how to take up with the examinations, because us generally we have been panicking, we have been so afraid. But with this session we have been lifted on high and we feel much more safer and confident. Um, as a candidate, I believe this is going to be a much more different year for the entire Uganda and our school at large because I can, I can see it, I can believe it and I do know that we are going to perform well. We are going to receive many first grades for this year and it's going to be a treasure to Uganda, a moment that they will always remember. I personally believe I'm not getting less than 15 and I pray God helps me achieve that as other candidates will also be performing. Any parent who is out there listening to us, I would call upon you to bring your children to this school for it's a lovely school, a welcoming school and a place anyone can feel at home. Uh, my name is Nakabonge Masi, a student at Global Harvest Secondary School, Seguku. I'm a candidate this year. Today I want to thank the Lord that we had our dedication day. Uh, let's say at first I was a bit scared before they prayed for us and briefed us about certain things that we should do during the UNEB. But I thank the Lord that I'm now strong and ready for the exams and I believe that the Lord will do us well. My name is Achomksha Irene, a senior for student at Global Harvest Secondary School. Um, today was our dedication at the same time, a briefing day. We, I believe or we believe that we are dedicated to God and we thank God that we are given, we are given a chance to reach this level and I believe that we all are going to pass with very good grades. My name is Amasawa Joshua, student at Global 
Harvest Senior Secondary School. I want to thank the Almighty God who has enabled us to reach this far through the ups and downs that we've faced, COVID, pandemic, now Ebola, but we've made it so this far. I want to thank the Lord because today it has been our briefing day. And I believe that we are going to have positive news and we are going to get good results because we've got good preparations and we've got enough and we, we are equipped very well so that we are ready for these exams. And I believe that we are going to get more first grades and we are going to excel mightily.